so this is the model of pharynx first we have this frontal bone and in frontal bone we can see this frontal sinus then we have ethmoid bone and this is the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone then we can see the sphenoid bone having sphenoid sinus now looking at the three divisions of pharynx behind the nose we have nasopharynx till the lower border of soft palate from the lower border of soft palate till the upper border of this epiglottic cartilage we have the oropharynx and from the upper border of epiglottis till the lower border of cricoid cartilage at the level of cervical vertebra 6 we have this laryngopharynx so nasopharynx let's look at the structures in it in laryngopharynx we can see this is a depression which actually shows the opening of auditory tube inside the nasopharynx then above this above this we can see this elevation which is salpingopharyngeal fold which beneath which we can we have the salpingopharyngeus muscle and this whole structure is known as tor torus tuberis then behind this oropharynx we can see that at the base and the root part of the this is the tongue so at the base of the tongue we have lingual tonsil so here we can see two extrinsic muscles of the tongue first this bulk bulky muscle which is attached to the genial tubercle of the mandible this muscle is the genioglossus muscle and the one which is originating from hyoid bone is the hyoglossus muscle this one here then we have this palatine tonsil and this palatine tonsil is enclosed by two arches anteriorly we have the palatoglossal arch and posteriorly we have the palatopharyngeal arch so we're done with the oropharynx now moving towards the laryngopharynx so laryngopharynx is the one which communicates with the laryngeal inlet and uh, that is all about it